Doc, Dr. Jackie Blue. Uh. Good choice. I'd like to acknowledge <laughs> Tim McIndoe for bringing a supplementary order paper to the House. I am firmly behind raising the purchase aid to 2020. I'd like to acknowledge the Minister and the Chair. It is basically since the age was the purchase age was dropped in 1999, it has been a failed experiment, and the House has a chance to reverse that today. And I sincerely hope that they do. The, we, it has been particularly harmful to youth, though youth aren't the whole problem, and I acknowledge that, and I'll talk to that later on in my, my, my speech. This research, how youth are so being harmed and the effect it's had, has been backed up by research on the National New Zealand Alcohol Surveys. They've analysed the data and surveys since 1995, and there has been statistically significant increase in binge drinking patterns especially youth, especially young women, increase in alcohol-related traffic accidents, so admittedly safer journeys is addressing that to a good degree, increase in hospitalisations of alcohol use disorders, alcohol poisoning and assaults. Their recommendation was quite clear, increase the purchase age to 20, no excuses, because we have a youth drinking, alcohol-related harm among young people, and it continues to increase. The 2020 option is supported by experts, by addiction experts, by health experts. You go and ask your A&E doctors, and I acknowledge what Phil Groff right, said. Right. Absolutely support that. Professor Peter Gutman, our Prime Minister's Chief Science Advisor, he supports the 2020 option. The Law Commission initially supported a split option, but once they looked at the international evidence, talked to experts in New Zealand, got the best data, they went to a 2020 option. And the public support is overwhelmingly 2020. Overwhelming. Every electorate. Every electorate. I have surveyed people Every in Mount Ross School. It's 2020. Everyone's got an opinion, and by my gosh, it is overwhelming in favour of 2020. Let's Absolutely. The default drinking age, Mr Chair, if it is at, 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 as it currently is at 18, means the default age is lower, a couple of years lower, probably 16. All the health experts are absolutely adamant that the growing, developing adolescent brain is vulnerable to alcohol, and that is why 20 is better than 18. There's no great sign. 20 is... Keep it away from alcohol, away from youth for as long as possible. Right. It is a drug. Right. Not, it is a drug. It is That's a right. dangerous, seductive drug. It alters the brain, it appears judgment, and it disinhibits. And people make poor choices when they are drunk. Alcohol has been used for time and memorial, and that is why it is a legal drug. But if it was discovered for the first time in this century, for the first time, it would be banned or severely restricted. And I agree, it is, alcohol is not just a youth problem, but we know heavy youth drinkers become heavy older drinkers. And that's why we have to turn it around at the youth stage. They become older drinkers. And why youth might think they are bulletproof and they can dodge health issues, they can not have an accident, they won't dodge it when they get older. We know it's linked to cancers, it's linked to cardiovascular disease and stroke. And, and our, our health costs will increase and new taxpayers will have to pay for that. Yes, I've heard the human rights issues. When you're 18, you can go to war, you can vote, you can get married. But let's not forget it. Alcohol is a drug. And it has been um, made the equivalent to a Class B drug in its effects, like morphine or ecstasy. And I repeat, if it was discovered for the first time this century, it would be banned and we wouldn't be having it. It would be restricted and we certainly wouldn't have the laws that we have now governing it. The, the 2020, it won't stop... Um, um, yeah, 20, the 2020 option won't stop 18-year-olds drinking under adult supervision. They will be able to do that. So it's not banning drinking for 18-year-olds. Raising the purchase age is not going to be a, a silver bullet. We all acknowledge that. But this is part of a suite of changes where it will, it will change the direction and change the culture. Raising the age will be a starting point, and we have to start somewhere. We can't go back to where we were and where we've gone. We must go forward, and we have to increase the age. I want to acknowledge the public activism, the different campaigns, the public are, and part of that change will come with public activism. I acknowledge the Febfast campaigns, which many of you have taken part of in Parliament. That's right. I'd like to acknowledge the Hello Sunday, where our youth, at, and where high-profile New Zealanders are taking part of that, where they pledge not to drink for three months, and it's all about waking up on Sunday morning without a hangover, um, clearing the mind, and getting a lot more work done and being more productive. And there's the Dry July campaigns. The public, there's a momentum out there, and that is why the public support 20.
2020. The constituent MPs, constituent MPs, MPs, if you want to get voted again, vote 2020. I call uh, Chris Farfoy. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. Uh, Mr Chair, as the Member of Parliament for MANA, um, uh, my election...